So guys, out of the tournament, I'm thinking you guys were the favorites for the whole thing. Do you feel like that played against you? Yeah, I think it's always bad. Like, um, same happened after Frankfurt. You know, we were winning, we were doing great. And then you go into this tournament and naturally uh, it's harder to get that same level of excitement and fire that other teams have. It's, it's just what happens. And we tried, I tried very hard and I think all the team tried very hard to fight against this, you know, feeling of relaxation or you're better than everyone because it's not true. And, but, I mean, it wasn't enough. So, well, um, so you, you finished the group stages really strong when you matched up against uh, MVP and TNC. What do you think went wrong during the series? A lot, a lot went to shit. I, I feel like, uh, like Tao said, we're battling a lot of things. I feel like I was also battling something. Like, I might have put this this tournament as something that was too hard to reach, or like too big, or I don't know. I wasn't. I feel like as a team and myself, I wasn't able to get in tune with everyone. Like, I also felt like I was talking way less. This tournament it brings out something like other tournaments don't either. Pressure, nerves. It's like how you set it for yourself, like what you put, like what you make it out to be. Because really, it's just another tournament, but it really just feels like something that's so hard to, to accomplish. I feel like we, we did not play as we had in our previous success major runs. Um, I think a lot of it also comes like from what you asked Tal and what Tal said, like having this target on your back. Uh, everybody's gonna look at what you do, and I don't know. It's always harder to win once you win. It's always harder, harder to uh, lose once you lose. Becoming winning, like winning, becomes easier once you're losing a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe China's gonna take it this year. Maybe it's just <laughs> gonna go full circle. Yeah. Evil, it's, man. It's hard to say what happens. <laughs> if you could have switched your pick, choosing newbie instead of MVP, would you have done it? Honestly, I don't think it matters that much. Like, uh, I mean, I think if we were in tune and we played good and, you know, we were like at our best form, I think we would beat both teams. And I think it was just like all the little things went wrong pretty much at the, you know, the wrong time where we just, we weren't really like in sync together and everything was just crumbling a little bit, like one piece at a time. And then, it doesn't matter who we played, because if we can't, you know, like we're losing to ourselves pretty much. Uh, I still think, you know, if we're looking at the potential of each team, I think we're, I, I do think we're the best team. I really do. But, you know, one bad day or one anything, and like it all goes down pretty much. So. Hard to stop that negative momentum. <laughs> yeah, we were still feeling okay after we lost to MVP, but. It just didn't feel like we were able to click the same way. Um, like we still gave some good fights, but like it's. All, I also know that feeling, you know, when we. I remember playing newbie when they had 29 and zero streak or something like that, and we were like yelling and we we're super hyped that everybody wanted to beat him so bad, and I haven't felt this once throughout this entire tournament that we wanted to beat the team, the other team so badly. And I know on the other side, they're having the same feeling we felt when we were playing newbie by 29 zero streak. I know of that feeling, and that that feeling is what wins you games in the end. Like, forget strategy, the strategy, the part, and, and doesn't matter. You know, we could be like at super, like way better than another team, but they have that fire, and we don't. We're gonna lose, and I feel like that had a big impact to it. So um, I gotta ask. Everyone wants to know that you guys have been the, the the best team throughout the year. You guys built on friendship. Is the Dream Green staying together? Nobody really knows what the future holds ever. I, I ideally had this team like in my head when TFI was over that I had a team that I could play with for 10 years and I still feel like it's, it's the same. I, I, I do not know what the future holds, like even for myself, you know, you, you never know. But Dota is probably going to continue to happen and then of course you get drawn into it at one point or another. I'm gonna see our TK in one week, make another team. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, nobody really 
knows anything that's going to happen at this tournament. It's been full of surprises, and uh, throw it back to you guys.